They're double terraining and it's kind of messing with them. Because now I can sucker punch their monkey. Why does my hoodie look like this on the green screen? What is happening right now? <laughs> What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet Violet VGC Climb video. Today we're rocking a Rampardos team, which is my favorite fossil Pokemon. I love Rampardos. I love its design. Super cool. Uh, it's very close with Tyrantho as far as best fossil design, but this one is rocking Sheer Force and a Clear Amulet. So that way avoid Incineroars and just do big damage. Now Rampardos is incredibly slow, so there is a Trick Room mode. With this team, we've got Cresselia here as an option, but this team really doesn't have to function like a Trick Room team. Like, there's faster to, like, mid-tier speeds with, like, Incineroar and Rillaboom to faster with, like, Ogre Pond and Chen Pao. So, team's got a lot of options here, and I'm keen to see what we could do with it. This team comes from Snakey VGC over in the Discord, so thank you for sharing the team. If this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you are sub for daily competitive Pokemon content from me in the future. I post every day around 11.30 a.m. EST. So be sure to hit that bell so that way you don't miss a thing because we're approaching that 10,000 sub goal and videos are just going to keep coming. So also leave a like and a comment because that helps push this video out in the algorithm, helps more people find this kind of VGC content that they're interested in. And I appreciate it immensely. Finally, question of the day. I talked about it earlier. What's your favorite fossil Pokemon? Mine obviously being Rampardos with Tyrant being very close as well. Let me know yours in the comments below. But let's see what we can do with Rampardos here on this team. What in the world am I looking at? So here's the real issue that we have more than anything else right now. Um, we have no answer for Hudra other than our Chen Pao. That is our lone answer to the Hudra. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. So I don't think we want to go slow. I think we want to go fast. Bring in Cinderor. And I think I don't I don't like that we don't really have great responses for Dragonite either. But I think this is what we lock in. Our only special attacker being Cresselia is a little difficult. Indeedy and Monkey Dory. Okay, they're making Monkey really strong. Thing is, they can't fake us out. Because the Psychic Surge. Interesting. Weird, weird call. Mm, and we're running Icicle Crash and not Ice Spinner. Not ideal. I mean, uh, we just target the monkey. They go for follow me. That's fine. The monkey nasty plots. See, that's why you need Ice Spinner right there. All right, Didi goes down. Rillaboom comes in. And they allow me to, okay, weird flex. I'm gonna go for the Terra Blast and um, I'm gonna protect. They're double terraining and it's kind of messing with them. Because now I can sucker punch their monkey. Why does my hoodie look like this on the green screen? What is happening right now? <laughs> That's so weird. We're going to go for the protect. See what they do here. They fake out the wrong Pokemon.
They do go for the Psychic. I'm probably just dead. Yeah, we don't take that hit. Honestly, I feel like you could drop Sword Stance on this Pokemon and just run it next to a Chen Pao and be fine. Because this Pokemon has, like, 165 base attack. So, like, it's kind of nuts. I have no idea what's happening right now with my green screen. It's kind of funky. I'm going to fake out that slot. We're just going to go for the icicle crash. It's the logical thing to do. I'm going to mess with this on the side while that's happening. Did I fix it? I don't know. That, I think, fixed it. What happened in that turn? I don't know. I was messing with my green screen. But it looks like we got a double KO. Here comes the Dragon Knight. I'm going to hit it with the Parting Shot. I'm going to hit it with the Protect. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not all crazy anymore. I'm not all glitchy. Who could have predicted that they were going to go for this? Who'd have thunk it? Ooh, they target the Incineroar. That's smart. We do hold on, though. And we proc our berry. Uh, we get Ogre Pawn in now. I mean, we go for Ivy Cudgel, and we go for Sacred Sword. We just hit this thing hard. Here comes the E-Speed. Do we take it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Bop. Crit. I don't think that was a crit. I don't think that was a crit. I think we're pretty heavily invested in our attack. Not really, no, actually. Not very heavy in attack. Okay, Rampardos takes a win. How about that? They want to go fast. They want to go very, very fast. So I kind of want to do... I kind of want to do something like this as my lead. Um, and then we bring Water Pawn and you, and we lock it in. But they would like to go fast. I don't really know what the Chen Pao is doing on that team. I'm going to be honest, I really am not entirely sure what the Chen Pao is doing there. I kind of wish we had Moonblast. We have Icy Wind on this crest. Moonblast would just be better considering you're using the crest for the Trick Room. Would just be better. Let's see what they got. Cool. I could try and get cheeky with him.
I could hit him with the ally switch. Terra Ghost Flare Blitz. That is an option. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be funny. That's what matters. It's gonna be funny. Oh, I thought Ally Switch had higher priority. That sucks. There's the tailwind. That sucks. <laughs> I really did think it had higher priority, the more you know. Wow, that just... How did that barely hold on like that? I just plugged the controller in. Why are you telling me this? Alright, we get Trick Room here. I'm gonna go for the Whimsicott now. They're gonna go for a Moonblast. They may just double me. Citrus Berry proc. They could also U-turn. Could U-turn. Yep, that's what they're gonna go for. U-turn onto my crest. Typhlosion's gonna come in. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We're gonna Flare Blitz. And Whimsicott's gonna go down. We've already done so much damage with just our Incineroar. It's kind of crazy. Trick Room. We may not even need to bring Rampardos in. We could just go for a Lunar Blessing and go for the knockoff onto the Typhlosion slot. We should take a Grassy Glide unless that's Miracle Seed. I would imagine we take a Grassy Glide. Oh, they're just going to fake me out. I'm cool with that. Knock off. That's big damage. Choice Specs is gone. Priscilla flinches. And they go for a Shadow Ball. Cool. I'm good with that. Oh, we're alive still. How about them apples? How about them apples? Let's hit them with an Icy Wind. What else could they have? I don't really need Incineroar for anything. So we're going to hit him with an Icy Wind, and we're going to go for the knockoff again. Grassy Glide. We'll clean that up. That's fine. I kind of needed Incineroar gone so I could get something else more useful in. Icy Wind is going to connect. Hopefully that does enough. It does KO the Rillaboom. That is what we needed to see. Typhlosion speed drops. And they go for the Shadow Ball into Crest. No one's shocked by that. Minimal damage. Their Tailwind's gone. Let's get Rampardos in. And Fluttermane. Love it. Love it. Okay, so you were specs on... How many more turns of Trick Room do we have? Two. Perfect. Don't care. Um, Lunar Blessing. Iron Head into the Fluttermane. Here comes the Terra. Terra the Typhlosion into a Terra Grass. Okay. 
That could be problematic. Fluttermane's gonna protect. Do they have Terra Blast? Well, I bet they have Terra Blast. Oh, but they're dumb. Cool. Oh, uh, we go for the Icy Wind. We go for the Iron Head. They have to hit a double protect. So they're only out. They try. They did, in fact, try. Iron Head. Bop. Dope. Good damage. Good damage like that wasn't going to KO a Fluttermane. <laughs> Icy Wind. That did a lot to that Typhlosion. I'm not going to lie. Speed drops ideal. They go for a Shadow Ball. And we get the Pawn in... We go for the big old IV cudgel, and we go for another iron head, and that should close the game. GG. Rampardos takes another baby. Let's go. All right, Rampardos, we've gotten two. I would like another now. Hmm. We don't have ice spinner. We have no answer for this. I'm not even going to bother bringing Cresselia here. It's not even worth it to bring Cresselia. Truth be told. Not even worth it. I don't think this is going to go well for us. I, 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 I don't think this is going to go very well. What do they got? What do they got? What do they got? What do they got? Did they lead it? No. Okay, hold on. They didn't lead it. Okay. What are the odds our Incineroar is faster? That's a big question. I think, however, we have to go for a fake out here. And, uh... We need to go for fake out here. And I think we tear a ghost and go for the Sacred Sword. I think that is exactly what we do here. Stop the bolt from doing anything. Oh, they went for fake out. No way, right? No way. Good sacred sword damage. Sweet. That was a great turn. Uh, we go for the parting shot here. And I'm going to protect as well. Start slowing the bolt down. Okay, we get the protect off. So even if they call mine this turn, it does nothing. And that's what we're looking for. Now we get the Rampardos in. And we can start clicking Rock Slide. I hear Link. I don't know where he is. He's behind the green screen. He's like shoving it around. Hi, buddy. Go lay down. Go get on your bed. Ooh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, wow, they just did even more to themselves though. That's kind of kind of crazy. Um 
I mean, we just click it at this point. There's no point in trying to preserve. We go for another Sacred Sword. No point in trying to preserve Rampardos at this point. Yep, there's the Thunderclap. You are fodder. You are just fodder. They're doing so much damage to themselves because of that life orb. Nice, they're Incineroar super low. They're buried, of course. They're at like minus three on that thing though. There comes the Flare Blitz. That really didn't do anything. We can get in our Ogre Pond. Not having Ice Spinner is probably going to lose us this game. If they have what I think they have in the back, we probably just lose off of that alone. Raging Bolt's going to swap. And there's the Indeedy. There's the Ivy Cudgel. So here comes the Iron Crown. There it is. All right. So, I mean, we have to knock out a DD here. We have to not go down, and we have to knock out a DD. Those are the two factors that are the most important. They go for the follow me. They go for the expanding force. I think we just go down here. I don't think we have the defensive investment in order to... Oh my gosh, we do. I'd have lost that bet. There we go, and Didi goes down. I would have lost that bet. Still wish we had Ice Spinner. Okay. How many more turns of the terrain are we working with? Three more freaking turns of terrain. Okay. So. I think what has to be done is spiky shield. Get in Incineroar. Obviously, our Intimidate's not going to do anything. There's the Expanding Force. And they are going to throw a Thunderbolt my way. Yikes. Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. So here's my thought. We're going to hit a follow me here. Right, we're going to hit the follow me. And I think I want to go for a knockoff on the Bolt. I think they tear a water this turn. No, they don't. Oh, no. I went for the wrong Pokemon. They go for the expanding. I 
I needed that to crit. <laughs> I needed a crit. That's so much damage. There's a way out, but they have to be dumb. Right? They have to be incredibly dumb with their decision making. We go for a knockoff into that slot. I can't believe they didn't tear a water. There it is. I should have flare blitzed them last turn. Wait, they're Terra fighting? Alright, I think that is probably just GG. Bolt's gonna protect. Okay. Oh my gosh, Terra fighting Terra Blast. No way. Get out of here with your shenanigans. I can't with that. All right, the weirdness disappears. So, I'm going to call a bluff. I'm going to call Raging Bolt goes for an attack, but they protect the crown, right? They protect the crown. Why? To get more chip in case they think they can't do it. I don't know. That's what I'm going to call, though. They're going to call. <laughs> They're going to protect. And I have a chance to Icicle Crash Flinch them the next turn. Sucker Punch, they did not protect. Bolt goes down. They're going to Tacky Uncutter me, and that's going to be a game. GG! You can't do a whole lot without the Ice Spinner. I mean, the only other option was bringing the Rillaboom. That was our only other option there. But even still, I, I don't think... I don't think we had it. It was closer than I thought it was going to be, though. It was closer than I thought it was going to be. Alrighty, folks. There's the team once more for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. It was nice to be able to feature Rampardos. I don't know in what other capacity we would have ever featured this Pokemon. But Rampardos is super cool. Really high base deck stat. Uh, the only thing with the team, throw Ice Spinner on that Chen Pao. We're, we're in a world of many expanding forces. We need Ice Spinner, all right? Rillaboom's there. I think, honestly, you could drop Rillaboom for, like, Fluttermane or something. Give yourself another Special Attacker or even, like, Raging Bolt. We need another Special Attacker on this team. But outside of that, I mean, you have the Water Pond. That's why I'm saying that. But, yeah, I would say throw Ice Spinner on the Chen Pao. Drop Rillaboom for a Special Attacker. Probably, or you could even do Blood Moon. I would do Blood Moon or Saluna, honestly. Uh, because you're running, like, a half Trick Room team. That's probably where I'd go with that. That's just my thought on the team. Really cool stuff, though. I like the idea behind Rampardos. Does big damage. Um, I think you could just get away without running the Swords Dance and just do big damage because of that base attack stat, but that's just me. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and sub for more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to check out the Discord people over there hanging out, playing Pokemon, sharing Reg F teams like this one. So if that's your jam, check that out. And if you want to see anything else from me, check out any of the videos that you see here on screen. But until next time, peace.